Whenever we start the computer, we see something like this comes on screen, and then, our login screen comes, or can say operating system loads into memory. Ever try to know, how operating system loads automatically into memory, even after it's in the hard drive, or, who tells it to load, or, which program is there, who checks the computer's all hardware part, whether they are working properly or not, and then finds the exact one partition, which is for booting. So, there is a firmware which resides on motherboard, named as BIOS, which is a short form of basic input-output system, also known as, ROM BIOS or, computer BIOS, and is responsible for initial stage processes during boot time. These are the processes which have to execute by BIOS, before our computer loads the login screen, or can say, before user interface, it have to do post process, which includes, hardware tests, as hardware of the machine is properly working or not, after post process, it govern the all early stages of startup processes, and then scans for valid boot partition ensuring that, the operating system is correctly loaded into memory. Now the question is, who invented BIOS, or, from when this component comes in frame of computings. So, the term BIOS, were created by Gary Kildall, and first appeared in CPM operating system in 1975, describing the machine specific part of CPM, loaded during boot time, which interfaces directly with the hardware. Early versions of DOS system contains BIOS as a file, such as IBM BIO.sys, or DR BIO.sys, also called as DOS IOS system, and contains the lower level hardware specific part of the operating system, but operating system independent. Later, with the introduction of PS2 machines, IBM divided the system BIOS into real and protected mode portions, and this meant to provide backward compatibility with existing operating systems, and therefore was named as CBIOS. Nowadays there are two modes of booting system. One is BIOS Legacy Mode, and other is UEFI. Legacy Boot is the boot process used by BIOS firmware. It stores a list of installed storage devices that are bootable, such as floppy, hard disk, optical drive etc., according to, configurable order of priority. Next is, UEFI, which stands for, Unified Extensible Firmware Interface. Most new motherboards consist of, this new type. It has more advantages than using BIOS legacy mode. Most importantly, it provides a user-friendly graphical user interface. BIOS provides a blue color screen with various options. The normal BIOS cannot recognize large storage drives. In regular BIOS that uses the keyboard to select the options, UEFI allows controlling the interface using the mouse. Moreover, UEFI contains a secure boot, which avoids any digitally unsigned drivers from loading and helps to prevent any malicious software. Some computers with UEFI allows the user to enable legacy BIOS compatibility mode. UEFI boot uses the UEFI firmware and maintains a list of valid boot volumes called EFI service partitions and during post process, it scans all the bootable storage devices that are connected to the system for a valid GUID partition table the firmware itself checks the GPT, to find an EFI partition to boot from. And then, loads the operating system from boot partition. This is all about BIOS, its modes, and how they work. And if anybody have directly came here, and don't know about firmware, so I have given link in description for that lecture. And further, if any question rise while this lecture, comment below, and, make sure to subscribe.